Chapter 3 Rebuilding the Wall of Jerusalem This is how the city wall was rebuilt. The high priest, Eliashib, and his fellow priests rebuilt the sheep gate, dedicated it, and put the gates in place. They dedicated the wall as far as the Tower of the Hundred and the Tower of Hananel. The men of Jericho built the next section. Zakur, son of Imri, built the next section. The clan of Hasanana built the fish gate. They put the beams and the gates in place, and put in the bolts and bars for locking the gate. Merimoth, the son of Uriah, and grandson of Hakaz, built the next section. Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, and grandson of Meshezabel, built the next section. Zadok, son of Bahana, built the next section. The men of Tekoa built the next section, but the leading men of the town refused to do the manual labor assigned them by the supervisors. Joiada, son of Paseah, and Meshulam, son of Besadiah, rebuilt Jashana Gate. They put the beams and the gates in place, and put in the bolts and bars for locking the gate. Melatiah from Gibeon, Jadon from Maranoth, and the men of Gibeon and Mizpah built the next section, as far as the residence of the governor of west of Euphrates. Uziel, son of Harhiah, a goldsmith, built the next section. Hananiah, a maker of perfumes, built the next section, as far as Broad Wall. Rephiah, son of Hur, ruler of half of the Jerusalem district, built the next section. Judea, son of Harumeth, built the next section, which was near his own house. Hattush, son of Hashabaniah, built the next section. Malchijah, son of Haram, and Hashub, son of Path Moab, built both the next section and the Tower of the Ovens. Shalom, son of Holahesh, ruler of the other half of the Jerusalem district, built the next section. His daughters helped with the work. Hanan and the inhabitants of the city of Zanoah rebuilt the valley gate. They put the gates in place, put in the bolts and the bars for locking the gate, and repaired the wall for 1,500 feet, as far as the rubbish gate. Machijah, son of Rechab, ruler of the Beth Hakaram district, rebuilt the rubbish gate. He put the gates in place and put in the bolts and the bars for locking the gate. Shalom, son of Kohoza, ruler of the Mizpah district, rebuilt the fountain gate. He covered the gateway, put the gates in place, and put in the bolts and the bars. At the pool of Shelah, he built the wall next to the royal garden, as far as the stairs leading down from David's city. Nehemiah, son of Azbuk, ruler of half of the Bethshur district, built the next section as far as David's tomb, the pool, and the barracks. Levites who worked on the wall. The following Levites rebuilt the next several sections of the wall. Rehum, son of Bani, built the next section. Hashabiah, ruler of half of the Keilah district built the next section on behalf of his district. Bivai, son of Hanadad, ruler of the other half of the Keilah district, built the next section. Ezer, son of Jeshua, ruler of Mizpah, built the next section in front of the armory, as far as the place where the wall turns. Baruch, son of Zabai, built the next section, as far as the entrance to the house of the high priest Eliashib. Merimoth, the son of Uriah, and grandson of Hakaz, built the next section, up to the far end of Eliashib's house. Priests who worked on the wall. The following priests rebuilt the next several sections of the wall. Priests from the area around Jerusalem built the next section. Benjamin and Hashab built the next section, which was in front of their houses. Azariah, the son of Maasiah, and grandson of Ananiah, built the next section, 
which was in front of his house. Benui, son of Hanadad, built the next section, from Azariah's house to the corner of the wall. Halal, son of Uzai, built the next section, beginning at the corner of the wall and the tower of the upper palace, near the court of the guard. Padiah, son of Parash, built the next section, to a point on the east near the water gate, and the tower guarding the temple. This was near that part of the city called Ophel, where the temple workers lived. Other Builders The men of Tekoa built the next section, their second one, from a point opposite the large tower guarding the temple, as far as the wall near Ophel. A group of priests built the next section, going north from the horse gate, each one building in front of his own house. Zadok, son of Immer, built the next section, which was in front of his house. Shemaiah, son of Shechaniah, keeper of the east gate, built the next section. Hananiah, son of Shelemiah, and Hanan, the sixth son of Zaloth, built the next section, their second one. Mesholam, son of Berechiah, built the next section, which was in front of his house. Malchahijah, a goldsmith, built the next section, as far as the building used by the temple workers and the merchants, which was by the Mifkad gate, to the temple, near the room on top of the northeast corner of the wall. The goldsmiths and the merchants built the last section, from the room at the corner as far as the sheep gate.